come. We're coming upon the artists at work on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Oh, I say what I'm doing? Yeah, what are you doing here today? Well, uh, I am, as, as usual, playing it so close to the risk factor. My colors haven't come, and I'm using the very last of Wynn's burnt sienna that came from the Glidden factory glows out. First of all, I couldn't tell which was red and which was burnt sienna. I mixed up red, wasting some of my precious mixer, but I'll give this to Megan. She can use red in a desert mill. So I am, of course, these pigments last forever, so it doesn't matter what what condition they're in. Now I've just put some of the clear base into this can to get the rest of it out. And this is more of the color which I'm doing out of painting, which I'm actually decided fall and underpinning. And I've gone through hell trying to decide whether this is the method I should use. And of course it's the only method I've ever used, and of course it's the method I'm going to use. But it's woken me up in the middle of the night in terror. Uh -huh. So anyway, I have mixed some clear with this, this is a lot of pigments, so I need a little more of the clear. All right, and we'll be back later. See how you're doing. Oh, we'll give it a minute, yeah. See how you're doing now. Now this makes me into a transparent color. I will be later at it. Might be enough, but who knows? I'm just guessing. Never know what I'm doing. I hear that plover coming. There she is, one ear flapped over. She's got an ear flapped over. She's getting a tortoise show, the audience. She got pound puppy. What do you got, pound puppy? Oh, slow. There she goes. She's over in her corner. Where's that plo? I see her. Where's plo? Let's see that tail wag. Puto, puto. <laughs> no tail wagging today? No tail wagon. And we'll go back. And B. That's not a white that I just put in as danger if we're close to the final color. If it had gotten too white, I would have been totally up Shit's Creek with no more red to put into darkness. And no paddles? Right. You want to see how close it came from that blow? Like this, this is the white I'm trying to get, the pink I'm trying to get. I'll just put a blob of that on that. Let me see if it's almost the same. I wonder if that'll turn on the video of that. Very subtle. So now I just have to be very careful and not add too much more light. Really. Oh. This video is moving on. It's so getting pretty boring. I'll call you, though, when I can the color. Well, we're going to go check out your studio while we're here. It's a big pet. It doesn't show up on the video. There's Puto in her studio. The Judith Sergeant Murray mural centerpiece. This is Judith Sergeant Murray here. Yeah. That's the Copley painting, a picture of a Copley painting, Judith Sergeant Murray. Sorry about that. Two little girls with a 
popsicle or fudgicle will be in the mural. There's a little plow. Is she going to be in the mural? Little tall, you're going to be in the mural. You're going to be in the mural. Let's put those toys, mini toys. You got mini toys there. Let's see the Judas Sergeant Murray. All the different stuff for the mural, I suppose. She says she's got it over there in the corner. All right. This is white paper over here. Ultramarine. This blue is ultramarine, and they don't make ultramarine for this uh, special super light resistant paint. So I'm going to have to mix this from phthalo and violet, which I haven't even tried. Hopefully it will work. Um, then the red, which is cadmium red and white, is going to be this new light fast red that they're sending me, which I assume will be fine. It's just a red that we can mix with yellow. It's too red. And the yellow is more of a cadmium yellow than an organic yellow. But as far as I know, all they have is organic yellow, so I'll probably have to put a little red into that. But it's just almost white. It's very, very faint. So it's red, yellow, and blue with lots of white. And then all the reds in here are the same red as this. All the blues are the same blue as the light blue. The only other color is the um, chromium oxide green, I think it's called. And I've never used green before, real green, so that's kind of exciting. But uh, those are my basic colors, and that's it. And of course, the burnt sienna, which I just mixed, which comes through everything. It's very simple color scheme. Oh yes, now I have a little burnt, uh, burnt umber for my blacks. If I need a black, I will mix the blue and the burnt umber. But I'll try to get away without having any black. I'll try to just... Of course, she doesn't have black hair anyway, so I haven't really had a need for black. But in my black people's hair, I will need black, which will end up just being blue and... Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything about painting this picture? Um, it's a copy, right? Yeah, this cop, this painting was a big problem because I have to go from this copy painting to what to a color interpretation that I really love, and I had to see into this painting to discover what it is that's really wonderful about this face. And um, so at first I didn't want to copy the painting. I thought I'd lose some of my own interpretation. But I went through many different finished portraits of this face before I finally decided. I mean, this just shows you how far off I got. That was my first one. Right there. Oh, and uh, hold that. Let's show that again. Yeah, it's uh -huh. pathetic. In the end, I actually took a Xerox of this and blew it up to exactly this size. This is about 40 tries. So after four tries, I felt really I, I was justified in taking the Xerox of this and just superimposing on that 
and drawing and getting the exact lines because this line of the smile is so critical and it really is pretty exact now. I mean, it is exactly the same space between her corner of her eye and the corner of her mouth. Mm. And that's what gives it that expression, is those, those dimensions. Plus the color, which I, I was pretty sure of the color by the time I got to that. I mean, these are actually the same color that is in JFK's face, almost exactly. Except that the blue in that was much more Prussian blue. But what I, one thing that's really rather sweet, if you come up close, you can see this little progression of the Green's copybook, which, of course, I hadn't really thought of, but when I finally got a book of primitive, American paintings, I found out that the copy book that they had during revolutionary time was pretty much like the copy book that you buy now. It has a green cloth cover mm. and a red uh, frontis page, I mean, glued down on the inside of the cover. And it's about the same size. I mean, I'm not sure if it looks the same size. Sizes are so hard to judge when you're copying a portrait. You know, and you don't know whether his hands are completely off. Are they too small? And sometimes I thought they were too big and the head was too small. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. This is what I'm going from. And then, of course, the goddesses were completely developed in New Mexico. The colors for them and everything. You re may remember my excruciating uh. afternoons trying to get those colors and finally deciding on a rainbow so that all these shadows were created with red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, and blue. And then I'm trying to show a black person, but still using just the same red, yellow, and blue and slightly um, Negro features. This, this woman will be more of a brown type woman. This woman will be a pure white woman. And that was Bonnie Smith, but it's now going to be Judy Walker. <laughs> Walk at my friend for almost 50 years ago. Mm. Now, here I'm trying to work up the other faces. And I probably should do some of that today because I may get to that by next Thursday and just have a Wednesday time to give me enough time. However, I'm looking on the edge here. But there's a reason for my not knowing exactly what I'm going to do all the time. It has to stay fresh. And I can't feel that I'm copying myself. It just deadens every stroke, so I have to look dangerously. Is it a creativity thing? It definitely is. I mean, I just couldn't make all the decisions ahead of time. I, I would get dead. I have to feel that each thing is totally new and can change the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's so uh, I mean, I, but I have a feeling Rivera would paint it that way. I notice other neuralists getting tighter and tighter in their work, more and more and more nervous that they won't achieve the exact look that they've set, you know, probably the client to expect. So. But anyway, better wash my hands. There's that Get the rattle toy. She's a rattler. She's the rattler. I threw when she got to turn that thing off. She wants to be on TV. That's why she's trying to take her attention away from me. I threw. I'm going to go see if I can get a couple of birdies here. Yeah?